Recall from an earlier lesson that one of the Internet's fundamental design tenets is packet switching. In a packet switch network, resources are not reserved, and packets are self-contained. Every packet has a destination IP address, and each packet travels independently to the destination host. In a packet switch network, a link may be shared by multiple senders at any given time using statistical multiplexing, as we learned in previous lessons. While packet switch networks have their advantages, in particular, it makes it easy to achieve high utilization on a shared link, packet switch networks also have the drawback that a large number of senders can overload a network resource, such as a node or a link. Note that circuit switch networks, like the phone network, do not have this problem because every connection effectively has allocated, dedicated resources for that particular connection until it is terminated. So this problem that an attacker who sends a lot of traffic might exhaust resources is unique to a packet-switched network environment. So packet switch networks are extremely vulnerable to resource exhaustion attacks. Resource exhaustion attacks a basic component of security known as availability. Let's take a look at other components of security as well. In addition to availability, we would like the network to provide confidentiality. For example, if you were performing a sensitive banking transaction or having a private conversation with a friend, you'd like the internet to provide some level of confidentiality. Another component of security is authenticity. Authenticity assures the identity of the origin of a piece of information. So for example, if you're reading a particular news article, you may really want to know that that article came from the New York Times website as opposed to from some other place on the internet. Similarly, you might want to know that that information wasn't modified in flight. That property is called integrity, which prevents unauthorized changes to information as it traverses the network. Now a security threat is anything that might potentially cause a violation of one of these properties. An attack, on the other hand, is an action that results in the violation of one of these security properties. So the difference between a threat and an attack is simply the difference between a violation that could potentially occur versus an action that actually results in a violation. Let's look at a couple example attacks on different components of security. Let's start by looking at an attack on confidentiality. 